السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از زید علی السگف اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ڈیجیٹل ڈرائنگ فار ایل آئی ٹی لرننگ انوویشن اینڈ ٹیچنگ فار اور یوزنگ آٹو ڈیسک اسکیچ بک وچ از اے فری ایپ دیٹ کین بی یوز آن آئی او ایس دیٹ کین بی یوز آن اینڈرائڈ کین بی یوز آن مائکروس پروڈکٹس کین یوز آن ملٹیپل ڈیوائس ود ود ہینڈ فون ٹیبلٹ اینڈ کمپیوٹر اینڈ For me, I'm using actually an iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil, if you're wondering. And this interface that you see now is from my iPad, iPad Pro. Okay, so in the previous, uh, in the previous uh, episode, we talk about the predictive stroke can empower anyone to draw. So I need to prove it. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to focus on something called stick figures, because that's the most common thing that people use. And I see so many times it's just used from the internet. And actually, they can draw themselves and own the copyright and create their own unique uh, stick figures. It's very easy to draw when, you have, the, when the, you have a tool that empowers that predictive stroke. So let's look at some examples. Huh? This one I actually did yesterday, which is Malacca. I'll share with you later, but it's Malacca. It, it became an acronym, and it was text-based. So I converted into a drawing using basically stick figures, as you can see. Uh, this is a very old one, but very popular one. Actually, here I'm not using predictive stroke. You can see the circles and the lines are not so crispy, but they're still, the, the, it comes out nice even without the predictive stroke. Uh, maybe it doesn't look that professional, but you can see this one is an example of just stick figures. It makes it very presentable. Uh, even I drew industry one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we haven't reached it, but I just visualize it. You can see here, this is also not using predictive stroke. Again, using stick figures, the power of using stick figures. You can see it here. Yeah, so industry 5.0, if you wonder what that is, it's in this drawing. If you want to have an explanation, you can ask me later. Even I draw, the recently I converted or just transformed simple concepts like learning design, flip learning, gamification. You can see some examples. Flip learning design, flip learning, gamification. Boy, basically a bit of the drawings also, but mostly uh, uh, stick figures. You can see rapid e-learning. Digital drawing, very, and sometimes you put a face to a stick figure, it becomes a life. Huh? So it's just an example. Okay. And then talk about face. Just a simple two eyes and a mouth can bring the stick figure to life. Okay. The last one I want to show you is this one. Uh, this one I did last time was the, the, the slide was just text. So I converted, it was the six, 16 core values of Malaysian education. I just converted into visuals. And you can see each core value has become a drawing, and mostly it is just stick figures. Okay, so when it comes to stick figures, you have many options, okay? Uh, you, can, you can use stick figure, which is a typical with lines, or you can use a, something called the star, you can use the card, you can use the loop, you can use Greg's method, or even Seth's method, you can use any method you want. It's up to you. But what I'm going to show you now, is not so matter we talk about stick figures per se, but it's the power of the predictive stroke to do a stick figure and make it crispy. So I'm going to come up with my own unique uh, stroke. So you can see here, the arrow here shows, uh, hey, let me just hide this here. Huh? I'm going to hide this, I'm going to go here. You can see here, up here, is the predictive stroke. I'm going to click on the predictive stroke. You can see here, different levels, right? So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to choose level 5, because I'm just going to basically use circles. So I'm going to show you now, I'm going to create my own little, I wouldn't call it a stick figure, but something like stick, but I'm just going to come up with my own unique one. So let's just do that. Let's look at what I can come up with now. Huh? So I'm going to draw a nice circle. This is the head. Okay, then I'll make it a little bit fat. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, sometimes you see the line doesn't come out nice. I draw again to make it nice. Mm. Ah, yeah. So this is something you have to get used to. Sometimes then you might convert the level down there to get it so that it, it doesn't fall 100%. Ah, see now. Sometimes you have to adjust to get the cross. So you wonder, so what am I going to draw? You're probably wondering, what kind of stick figure is that? Huh? Let me just do it. Ooh, okay. Again, I just go to level 3, not so it doesn't fall 100% me. So, uh, cool. You've got funny feet. It's a bubble figure. Maybe we call it a bubble figure. Just. Sometimes it doesn't come out. You just keep on going until you get it right. Okay, nice. And I'm going to have some cute little hands here. Cute little hands. Eh? Yabba dabba doo. <laughs> and then I, then I can do some nice eyes here. And then I can fill in the blank if you want to have it nice. Ah, then I do the script. Sometimes if it doesn't work, you just come closer, you zoom in, and then you just draw the smile. Ah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. And let's make it a bit spicier. Now, maybe for the hair, if I want to have some, add some cool hair, I do not want to use uh, predictive stroke, because something here, you want to be so natural. So what I'm doing now is, 
I'm trying some cool hair here. What kind of hair he has, eh? And then later, okay, that doesn't look so nice. Let's just do this again. Yeah, let's try with the predictor stroke. What, what, what will that look like using level three, eh? Okay. Maybe cool. So like a rock star, or maybe a bit like Einstein, but I'm not going to do massage. Eh? So once it's done, you may want to make it the crispy, the... Eh? Uh, okay. Once it's done, you can also color it. Uh, that's the good thing about this tool is you can color. So let's make him really greeny. Uh, let's make him really green. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm really a greeny guy. Eh? And what kind of hair do you want him to have? You want him to have gray hair? So I just go like that. Uh, that's him. A simple drawing. You can see here. That, that, that. No, it doesn't look so cool. It looks simple. But you see, what I like about the predictor stroke, it empowers you to draw these perfect lines and make it look quite professional even though, uh, so if you wonder how people sometimes draw professional drawings, they're actually using the predictive stroke. And this app, what I'm using here, Sketchbook, has the predictive stroke. I think most good drawing apps should have the predictive stroke. So this is basically my first application of the predictive stroke to draw what I want. And this, in this term, is a, a stick figure. So, so this is with this, I will close the session. And the next uh, episode, I'll actually show you how to draw cartoon or comic characters using stick figures.